Yeah, by John, let me take it to France. Dumb as how get it ice out again. Bit through rock, get a plumber and yeah. Niggas on top of these niggas, now with it. Bitch, hello, money all over the digits. Niggas look up to me, cause I go get it. Little bitch, she assassin me, I know she with it. Bro, got the drop on her head, then quit it. So, down to me, now we're respectful, no money. I get to the money, I flip it, then kick it. Shout out to my brother, my nigga, we win it. Yeah, yeah, uh. I get to the money, I flip it, then kick it. Okay, welcome back to another video. So today we are back with another album reaction. They just keep coming. They just keep coming. And like I said in my last one uh, to react to Abel's album, I'm trying to get two more album reactions done before the end of the year because I will be doing a tier list of all the albums that I have reacted to in 2021. Um, hopefully in the next couple days, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So I wanted to get two two more done by the end of the year. The first one is the one we're reacting to today, which is Alone at Prom by Tory Lanez. And then I want to try and get a reaction out to Playboy Carter's album that he dropped like a couple months back. I think it's called Whole Lot of Red. So I want to listen to both of those and then they can be in the video as well. But today we have Tory Lanez Alone at Prom. And I've heard a lot of interesting things about this album. I've heard a lot of people that like it, a lot of people that don't like it. Apparently it's like an 80s themed album. That's all I've kind of heard, which is very intriguing. Um, I've never listened to a project from Tory Lanez either. I've only heard singles here and there. So my knowledge of his, his music style is not completely... Uh, full, uh, which is, yeah, I, I don't know if this is a thing he does often or whether this is like a really out there experimental project. I'm not sure. But every time I have listened to him, I've liked him. Yeah, he's sick. He's sick. He's got a track with a UK artist called Dappy uh, called Not Today. That's such a banger. If Americans haven't heard that, please go and listen to it. It's a banger. But yeah, I'm very excited to get into this because of the, the interesting things that I've heard about it. It's only 36 minutes long. We've got 11 songs on today. And yeah, Let's get straight into it, but before we do, can I ask you guys to go down and click that like button? It is the best thing you can do to help me out, and also, if you want to see more Tory Lanez reactions, that is the best way to show me, because the more likes this video gets, the more people I know enjoyed it, and it also helps it in the algorithm, get more views, etc, etc, which makes me more likely to react to Tory Lanez again. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more Tory Lanez reactions. I, th there's probably lots of songs from him, like singles, that I haven't heard as well, because like I said, my knowledge of his music is... He's not amazing. I've just heard a few singles here and there um, and heard him fucking freestyle and Aiden Ross. <laughs> That's basically it. Um, so yeah, if there's songs from him that I haven't heard, I could definitely go and check them out. I think I reacted to him in, um, I did like a Canadian rap reaction and I'm pretty sure I reacted to him then. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I feel like I did. I feel like I did. But yeah, like I said, drop me some Tory Lanez tracks and I could do some more reactions to him in his normal style because apparently this is not. But let's get straight into the first track, which is Enchanted Waterfall. Let's go. Yeah, already this beat has thrown me off. Not what I was expecting. Oh shit. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, I heard lots of people saying it's a bit out there in terms of style, but shit. <laughs> I didn't realise he was going, going that far. I mean, I know he can sing. But I've never heard him sing like this, okay. He's got a real Michael Jackson tone to his voice right now. And it sounds sick. It's got, I don't know, I don't know like how to describe it. It just sounds like a Michael Jackson kind of voice, kind of style. I'm still just a bit thrown off, like, I heard people say it was, like, 80s and very different, but I, I still, for some reason, just didn't expect it to be like this. <laughs> I, I, yeah, this is it, I don't know, like, it's mad. How can he, this this guy, Tory Lanez, and he's singing this, it's crazy. It's like the, the versatility. This is what I like, like, even if this project, even if I don't like this project, I respect the fact that he's done it, if you know what I mean. Like, if all of this is like this, and he's, yeah, that's... Even if I actually don't like many of the songs, because I'm going to have to give this one a chance and, and have a look, have a see. Because, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll have to see if I like any of the songs on here. It's not not usually my style, but maybe this can be maybe this can be what gets me into this style. I'm not sure. I'm interested to listen to the rest of it. But, yeah, even if I don't like it, I'm going to respect the fact that he's done this, because it's just an artist that's done something so different. Even if it doesn't work, I kind of like the fact that they're, they're experimenting with it. <laughs> Is that 
just does not sound like Tory Lanez as I know him. I don't know if he does this often. Like, is these I, Tory Lanez fans who like listen to all of his music are gonna have to let me know this? Like, whether this is a a thing he does often. I don't know, but his voice there just like, I would not recognize that as Tory Lanez ever. Okay, I like the hook. I like the hook. It's catchy. I'm going to have to give that another listen to like fully decide if that's for me. But I think I liked that. I think I liked that. The hook's catchy. The instrumental's really good. Oh, yeah. that's That deserves credit. The instrumental's sick. And his voice sounds good as well. I'm, just, I'm going to have to give that another listen. But I think I liked that. That's got me very intrigued for what the rest of the album is like. Next track we've got is Pink Dolphin Sunset featuring T. So, so 80s. It sounds like something one would listen to. One thing I will say is I didn't realise his voice was this good. I only heard him like hip hop sing, if you know what I mean, like melodic rap. And I feel like this is an, another level of, of vocal ability, you know what I mean? Like there's still also trying on his voice, but like he's clearly he's clearly got an actual good natural voice. I didn't realise it was this good. These little, the vocals in the back, I'm presuming that's the, the feature, T. Those vocals in the back, they, they sound sick. Okay. That was good, that was good. I liked that. I'm still, I'm still a bit in shock. I need to kind of process this. But the first two songs, I've liked those. I've liked those. He's definitely, he's got like a talent in this genre. It's not someone who's tried it and like completely like failed. He's actually got a talent in this genre. Not that I know much about this fucking genre, but from what I can tell, it sounds good. I don't know. I'm sure there's some like experts in this kind of genre of music who probably like that. This is shit. But to me, this sounds good. I like it. Midnight's interlude. I just can't believe this is Tory Lane singing this. Okay, a nice little interlude, nothing special, just a little vocal loop. And now we've got the colour violet.
it's kind of alive. I think this might be the best song so far. This is it. All the melodies on this. Like the, the melodies on the verses, the melody on the hook, the instrumental. Yeah, I like this one. I like this one. And his voice sounds sick. Oh, sax coming through. I liked that one, I liked that one. The colour violet. Now we've got Lavender Sunflower. Sexy lady, what would you do if this goes right, girl? If everything goes, I'll be plenty too. Come and sexify my heart. What are you waiting for? Hey, the vocals. The way the beat comes in there, sick. I was when I first heard the first song, I was like, okay, that was good, but I'm interested to see whether he can keep that up and make this whole album work in a style that. Well, maybe he does it more often. Again, like I said, I'm not sure, but to me, this is not Tory Lane style. So I was interested to see whether this like this style can carry on being as consistent and like well constructed throughout the whole album and it has been the first five songs they've all been like a consistent style similar kind of beats but not too similar like all different kind of songs but all really good like i've actually liked them and i was not expecting that when i first heard the first song i was like i liked that one but am i gonna like the rest of this but they've actually been good they've actually been good yeah this is this is just weird listening i picture in tory lane singing this i want to see a music video for it I, I think he dropped one uh i never i never watched it uh or reacted to it but I think he dropped a music video for one of the songs. I kind of want to go and watch that now just to see Tory Lane singing this because that picture doesn't seem to work in my mind. I need to I need to see it to believe it. His voice sounds sick on this one. Yeah, like I said, that was good as well. This is this is just yeah, I'm surprised. They've all been good tracks, all been good tracks. Now we have Ballad of a Bad Man. Hey. 
vocals, come on. Yeah, this one's sick as well. Just this album's just a vibe. It's got an energy to it. Like I don't know how many of these I put on my playlist, but I'm enjoying listening to it now. I like it. It's got yeah. It's just it, this is the kind of music that just puts you in a good mood, and it it's just like it's it's good energy to it. It's good energy to it. And the melodies, like all of them, like sick melodies, verses, sick. I'm liking it. I'm enjoying this album. This is sick, this is sick. That might be my favourite, that might be my favourite. That hook is just so catchy. Okay, now we're moving on to Lady of Namek. Baby! I want you to leave, but you stay. My brain and my heart ain't the same. So will I let you in? We're just friends. Did you walk with a smile on okay. my face? Wanted to in the night in my place. We need to, baby. But I always know how this is if you don't play me. This is just, it's so sick, the fact that someone can can make the songs Tory Lane stuff and then suddenly just venture into this kind of music. Like, he must have been a fan of this kind of music, which I always feel like is a thing. I reckon artists that are, like, most artists are probably fans of, like, music in general and listen to a wide range of music because they'll be, like, students of music, if you know what I mean. They'll, they'll want to take in all of it and let it influence them. But then they, they often don't venture into that style themselves. But Tory Lane's just gone, fuck it, I'm just going to make an 80s album. And... It sounds sick. It sounds sick. I want to know, like, do people who listen to 80s music regularly find, like, think this is good and listen actually listen to this? Or is this, like, a, 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 like, 80s thing but for Tory Lanez fans? I want to know. Like, anyone who's a fan of 80s music, do you like this sound? Do you think this actually sounds good? Would you listen to this? Or does it, like, is it bad 80s music compared to the stuff that, like, the 80s music fans list would listen to? I'm not sure. To me, this sounds sick. I don't know. I don't know. That tonight is supposed to be our night Yeah Well, would you look at the town I'm racing against it Your heart's in my heart, yeah Cause tonight's the night So baby, can we Play with the stars tonight hey. Can we make them all alive So what's it gonna be, yeah Cause tonight's the night So baby is Tory Lanez from the same place as Michael Jackson? Because I get real Michael Jackson vibes when I hear his voice. Like, not, not necessarily the like, style of music, but his voice just has, like, a Michael Jackson tone. I wonder if they're from the same place, or whether it's just, like, the American accent with these, these kind of vocals that you know, I'm recognising. I'm not sure. But he sounds like a lot like the Michael Jackson style of singing. I guess it's kind of, like, breathy and a bit strained. And like the higher pitch stuff, maybe that that's like what's doing it. Maybe he's like taking inspiration from Michael Jackson in the way he's singing. I'm not sure, but yeah, it gives me it gives me Michael Jackson vibes. But this sounds sick. This sounds sick. I think that might be his best vocal performance on the album. His voice sounded really good on that. Now we've got Pluto's Last Comet.
Why do I recognize that melody? That's um, that sounds like uh, the Rick Roll melody. Um, never Rick Astley never gonna give you up. It, it sounds like that melody. Da, da, da. It's that bit. Oh, that that melody's just giving me like a a deja vu to the the Rick Astley song. I don't know what it is. It's it's probably just like a coincidence that he's used that. But yeah, this this song sounded good. This song sounded good. So pretty, I don't know why. Somehow I got her number. I'm calling her phone. She seems to never answer. She leaves me so alone. I don't know if I'm a fan of this bit. Yeah, I think the bit where he did it, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that was. This bit of the hook's catchy though. Okay, that was a good song. I think the hook got a bit repetitive. But it was alright, it was alright. Now we're moving on to 87 Steam Ray. Presume that's referring to the car. Tory Lanez can sing. This one's sick as well. All the melodies on this album have been so good. Like all of these songs could have been singles. They're all catchy as fuck. We've got Hurt from Mercury. Instrumentals on this have been sick as well. Ah, the way the beat comes in, the instrumental is sick. I would say the hook got a bit repetitive. That's happened on like a few of the tracks where it's like, you think, oh, there might be another verse coming, but it's just the hook repeated again. And sometimes I think that can make a track like a bit boring and also means that after a while, you get bored of the track in general. Like, you put it on your playlist and then you go, oh, it's this again. Like, I've heard the hook so many times, it can get repetitive. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, I would think I would have liked a verse extra in a few of the songs. But, that being said, the hooks are good. And, yeah, it's, it sounds good. I, I'm still surprised. Like, I'm, I'm in a, a little bit of shock still. <laughs> the Like, the fact that this is Tory Lane singing this. Like, his voice sounds sick. His, the melodies, everything. Now we got the last track, Last Kiss of Nebulon.
he just like slips back into rapper mode with that little like oh yeah in the middle of this like real vocal song <laughs> Yeah, this is this is mad. Like his vocals are so good. I never realised he could sing like this. Yeah, we, we are then again, I don't know what he sounds like in real life without like the production on. I feel like he's got a good voice though. Like you can, I feel like you can kind of tell. There's only so much auto tune can do. Like he's still holding the note and he's still reaching like pretty impressive like high notes. So I feel like he's yeah he's he's got a good voice. Oh, so we're done. Uh, he's got like a unique sound to his voice as well. He hasn't got just like a boring, like middle of the road voice. It's like breathy, a bit strained. It's got like a rasp to it. Like, yeah, it sounds good. Again, hook. It's like repeated a lot, possibly too much. I always find like I like it when a hook is not repeated too much. I always want it so that like I want there to be another hook on the song because then I'm gonna listen to the song again. Like if, for the artist, it's like get more streams in general as well. Like if a hook's really good and it's only like twice on the song, then I want to hear the song again and the song never gets old because I don't get bored of the hook because I haven't heard it as much. If you know what I mean. Whereas if the hook's like fifty percent of the song, I feel like it can get a bit repetitive. I'd rather be left wanting like more of the hook. But. Good song. It's a, a nice ending to the album. And what an experience that was. <laughs> My first time like listening to any music like this, um, like properly. Uh, and I enjoyed it. I think there's a few songs that will go on my playlist. I liked Lady of Namek. I liked Ballad of a Bad Man. I liked The Colour Violet. I liked Enchanted Waterfall. I liked Pink Dolphin. I think, I think there could be a few songs that go on my playlist. Maybe this will be my my first introduction to this music, uh, this kind of music, and I'll, I'll get into it. But, yeah, I'm, I want to know whether this is, like, a thing Tory Lanez has done before or whether this is, like, just out of the blue he's decided to do this kind of, this style. Because it works. Like, he, he does it well. It's not like he's just, like, tried it and it's, like, a half ass attempt at doing something different. Like, he's he's actually done it really well and it sounds like it could be... A different artist if you know what I mean it doesn't sound like Tory Lane's trying to do this it sounds like he's just been doing this his whole career it's mad yeah his voice is good I definitely I want to listen to more Tory Lane's as well I feel like I should listen to an album where he's doing rap as well because I've never listened to a full project from him so maybe you guys can let me know if there's an album that I should react to from him I want to start doing more album reactions because I enjoy doing these and I feel like they're they're like a nice thing to have on my channel like a full project reaction instead of just single songs I quite like having like uh, uh, a catalogue of album reactions so I'm going to try and do more album reactions in the future like not just like new albums I want to try and go back and do some older albums like old school like Tupac, Biggie, Nas albums stuff like that that I haven't listened to fully or like all the way through or just haven't listened to like at all because uh, there's a lot of old school stuff that I haven't listened to like some of the early Kanye albums some of the early Jay-Z albums all of that stuff I want to go back and, and do some reactions to those and that could be like a first time reacting to uh, Kanye West college dropout like all of that stuff that could that could work so I'll be hopefully doing some of that soon um, holidays is probably the best time that's why I've been doing so many albums right now as well because I'm off school so I've got time to sit down for like four hours to make an album reaction because they take a while to make but like I said they'll keep going hopefully we'll have an album reaction to Playboy Kai whole lot of red coming either today or tomorrow or the day after I don't know I'll see when I can fit in but stay tuned for that make sure if you did enjoy this let me know what you thought of this album i want to hear like tory lane's fans opinions people that aren't tory lane's fans or a bit tory lane's fans i want to hear if anyone is like a fan of 80s music like a proper fan of like this style of music whether you think this is good music uh or whether you think this is like a, a rip off of the style and doesn't actually sound good um yeah i'm interested to see what people thought of this album i liked it but yeah who knows if my opinion is is of any worth because I'm not a fucking music analyst. I just hit listen to something and go, I like this. Yeah, it's um, but yeah, there's a lot of catchy songs on there. A lot of stuff I I would put on my playlist.
yeah, Tory Lanez. He's gone up in my estimations after hearing that as well. The versatility is impressive. Yeah. Anyway, like I said, let me know what you thought of this video by liking it and going down, commenting, and tell me what you thought of the album. Make sure what you're down there, you also subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss my next upload. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>